All right, hello, hello. It is day 70 complete. Um, it is day 70 and it is 7.02 a.m. <laughs> now, it's not really something to be so smiling about, but there is something that happened because I ended up staying late that I am very happy about. And you know what? It is what it is and I'll, uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna explain what happened today. I do need to go to bed, of course, very soon. So this will be a uh, fast video. Oh, well, that's not normally how I showed up. But uh, basically we did not go to bed on time. We went to bed terribly. Oh wait, this was correct, right? We're talking Monday, last Monday, yeah, yeah, this happened after. Um, we didn't go to bed at 4.30 a.m. We went to bed at 10 a.m. I don't know how I did. I was in a call and then I got in my bed and then I was just watching stuff and I have no idea how. I had a call. I ended up doing my physio call kind of before I ended up going to sleep and then I fell asleep at 10 a.m. It's insane. So very, very bad. Wake up. Given the fact that I went to sleep at 10 a.m., I kind of like said well 4 30 p.m is kind of okay at six hours and a half we didn't manage to do that because we woke up like we woke up at 4 30 but then we got out of bed around like 6 p.m we didn't upload our video on consistency we did have our smoothie but we didn't have like our second meal we haven't had our last meal because i'm still gonna have to do that after this um we didn't walk our dog because it was raining and I was just like, we're not going to do that now. However, I didn't walk the dog yesterday and I should have, and I'm going to, and that, that will be reflected on the, on our, uh, on our sheet here. Oh, well, I did actually appropriately do it then I did. I did. I did reduce it that, that time because I didn't walk the dog when I, uh, like the night before. So that's all, that's all taken care of then. That's good. Everything's good then. Um, what else? So our stream today, oh boy. <laughs> our stream is what really happened. Um, so let me see if there's anything else to mention. I did buy my keyboard. I groomed, I feel pretty trimmed up. I'm clean everywhere, I feel good about it. Um, Cancel the physio. I bought a keyboard. So I have a new keyboard right here that you can kind of see. Uh, it's not the one I intended on buying and I'm just kind of trying it out, but I think I'm gonna end up returning this one. But, you know, I'm kind of in that space where I'm figuring out what I'm doing and I'm happy. You know, this was something that I've wanted to do. I'm a big advocate for getting things like these because this is something that I use every day. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, drank smoothie and ate cheese with cold cuts. That's what I kind of had there, work daily. Sorted clothes, didn't walk dog due to rain. Oh, I did my sorted clothes thing finally. That was our first thing on our <laughs> short term goals and we did streamed. It was too long, but also good stream. I had a really good feedback. I was engaging, I had good viewership. It was, it was pretty good. And I had some new followers. The only problem was, and at my performance, I did pretty well, but just wait on how I was doing in my, uh, my speed run. Um, but it is a problem for the sleep because I, I think I streamed until around 4 a.m. I want to say, uh, when I wanted to, uh, sleep by 1 a.m. or finish by 1 a.m. and upload this video or start recording this video at, by 2 a.m., right? So that's obviously didn't work out well. And then I did the unthinkable. I chose to do a random spontaneous second stream, like a few. 20 minutes, 30 minutes after my stream ended. And I managed to get a personal best, a massive personal best in the game that I was playing. And I feel happy about it. It was very impressive. It's something that I've been struggling with and I finally got it and I feel proud of it. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna change things up now or if I'm going to still try to get an even better time than I did. So I'm still kind of sitting and thinking about that, but I'll see. Um, and then, I wrote tomorrow's schedule and then I did emails. So real quickly, uh, tomorrow's schedule is our usual. Um, stream work is going to be specifically getting clips and highlights, especially for my last stream. I got a lot of work I could do there. I could upload some of them to my YouTube channel. Uh, basically we're all uh, going from there. 
So that's kind of what I plan on doing. And we want to upload our video before midnight. And we want to go to bed by 2.30 a.m. because I have uh, therapy the next morning at 10 a.m. So that's that. Um, in terms of our goal viewer, sleep is going demoted for sure. Well, actually, hold on. I think I demoted sleep accordingly. Sleep is definitely getting demoted right now. 100%. Nutrition, I'm going to keep it over here. Uh, fitness. We didn't work out these days, but we intended on it, and I think the break is fine. I'm not going to hurt myself on that front. These two are getting close. YouTube, the moment I do that one-off video, I'm going to change my YouTube to yellow for sure. Um... Laundry, okay, grooming, we are totally groomed up. Dog walking, we'll keep there. And everything else. Oh, sort clothes is done. Oops. Um, keyboard, we're still kind of figuring it out right now. But yeah, we finished that. So let's have tomorrow ready. OK, so here's out of everything that happened, right? There's two things. There's two points I want to cover before I finish this video. The first one is by the end of this week, we kind of had our goal of resolving our sleep and uploading our video and finishing everything we had to do in our day so that we have this big chunk of leisure before we go to sleep. We made a lot of progress. We had that day where we really nailed it, but then we regressed and that was due to the alcohol that was used on stream. Pros and calls and all of this, I learned from it. Uh, and now we're kind of on that step to recovery in terms of like rebounding from the effects that that late sleep ended up having on everything. It's OK. We're still focused on this goal and we're going to repeat this goal for this coming week right now that I'm starting my work week tomorrow. So that's going to happen again. And I would like to try to get to that as fast as possible, like tomorrow, right? We wake up, we, well, the sleep obviously we'll see, but we finish everything by midnight. That's the goal. That's the goal. We finish everything we got to do and we start recording by midnight. That's what it is. Number two, and this is going to be the main point of this video. I kind of got some bad news from my job today that really uh, affected me. Basically, there was a, a few promotions that ended up happening that I was definitely kind of a candidate for potentially happening, and I didn't get it. And initially, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just the people who got it instead of me, it, didn't, it doesn't make sense. I have more seniority, and I'm an absolutely excellent performer. I'm not sure what the cause of this was. And I'm trying to figure out exactly how I approach it, but I think I will end up talking to my manager about it to try to find out why this happened. The one thing I can mention is that nobody on my team ended up getting the promotion. So I have a feeling like it was due to my manager, just not, I know my manager was off for like a month and maybe they, they were off when people were approached about these promotions. Um, and maybe that's what it was, but I will be uh, trying to ask some questions to figure out what happened. And this kind of felt like it sucked because I'm very justice and fairness minded. I feel like this wasn't right for it to have happened. I feel like I should have gotten it all things considered. And I should have been one of the people to have gotten the promotion and I'm not too sure what to do from here because it could be a quite a while until the next there's more available positions for this position that come up. So for that reason, I'm kind of like, well, I want to grow. I want to develop. I don't want to be stuck in this entry position much longer than I already have. 
at this point, I've been basically working at it for six months. And I feel like it's really at this point that I feel like I should have this by now. Um, and I don't want to wait another six months for another opportunity. One of my options is to try to apply for positions that are kind of still in my field, but kind of a more sp a different specialized department in my field. That's something that I actually apply for. This is something that's internal that you don't you can't apply. I don't like apply for this promotion that I got here, but the other ones I can apply for. And so I feel like the strategy here is to talk to my boss about this and see what my options are for going forward. What I really want to touch on what happened here is I found that there's different reactions that I, I, you could have when something like this happens. Because this is something that really felt like it was kind of out of my control, essentially. Right? Um, the first reaction you could have to this is neutral. You just kind of act like, okay, still doing your thing. And the second reaction you could have is the one that I initially had, which was I felt pretty sorry for myself. I felt kind of depressed. It was really bothering me. It's like really like why me, poor me kind of uh, self-talk in my mind, which is understandable. But then there's a third option, which is let's take this as an opportunity to overcome something. And I'm not trying to sound like some kind of, um, um, I'm not trying to sound like some kind of like preachy person that's just coming up with ideas here. I mean it. Like, things happen in life that are out of your control that suck. Someone near you could die. So you, you could, you, a guy, someone could run to your car and then somehow no insurance coverage ends up going through and it really messes you up financially. There's all kinds of different things that can happen. And that's part of life. And you can either, you know, let those moments when they happen um, really hurt you, or you can overcome them and become even stronger afterwards. And that's what I want to do from here. I'm going to do the best that I can given the situation to see what my options are with a cool uh, level, a uh, cool, cool head, and see it as an opportunity rather than a hindrance right? For something even better. I like to think sometimes about destiny that, you know what, maybe had I gotten this promotion and what would have happened, maybe, maybe this is going to lead to something better. And not just that, you know, sometimes we think about life in terms of like for me, for the most part, everything that's been going on other than the sleep, everything's been going well. Everything's been pretty much going my way exactly how I want it to go for the most part. And now this is kind of this obstacle that has been put before us. And an analogy I like to, I've actually thought about for this channel, The Pathwalker, is, you know, you're walking down the path and suddenly there's, there's this big rock or this big blockage in your way to continuing through that path. And well, you gotta, you gotta get past it, right? If you want to keep going down that path, that will lead to the best things that will ever come for you, come to you. You can just stand there and like look at it and be like whatever, or you can just completely the obstacle feels so much bad that you're just gonna end up going backwards, right? Which you don't want. Obstacles happen in life, and this is just part of it. It's like, oh, but what if? What if? There's so many what ifs that could happen. At the end of the day, you do what you can do that's in your control. And you try your best to essentially tackle this um, at the, the best way that you can, right? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be pessimistic. I'm not going to have a negative attitude. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to do it. Now, what I did notice is my initial reaction to this was very bad. And so I'm happy that right now I seem to have kind of been able to relax. It's not that big of a deal. Things are still okay. Still whatever. But for that reason, you know, when you kind of do have that reaction, it's good to cool off before you do any immediate decisions, I believe. That's what I personally believe. But with that said, 
thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to how I'm going to move forward from here, and I think I will end up in a better spot than had I end up ended up getting this uh, promotion. And I'm going to still work even harder than I have. So with that said, our goal for tomorrow is to upload our video before, or sorry, we start recording our video before midnight, and keep going from there, keep crushing it. We're not stopping, we are walking down no matter what's in front of us, and we're trying to really fix our sleep. That's the goal by the end of the week. Once again, we want as many days from this week going forward until Sunday to be um, where we finish all that we need to before the time that we want, that we plan on, that we set for ourselves, and then have our video recorded so that we have that nice chunk of leisure afterwards, which I think is great for my mental health and just every functionality. And then also going to sleep on time. That again, we are still starting it. We haven't forgotten our, our goal in the past and we're gonna lay off the alcohol. So that's the plan. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.